For Faisal bin Ali Jaber, a time of celebration quickly turned into a time of mourning. Uh, we uh, got there and we saw those loved ones who uh, we, once last night were dancing with us in joy of the wedding. Uh, uh, being uh, cut to uh, pieces by, by these missiles. In August of 2012, he returned here to his home village of Hashmir in eastern Yemen for his son's wedding. The next day, a U.S. drone fired four missiles in the village, killing five men. Among them, Jaber's brother-in-law, Salim bin Ali Jaber, an outspoken anti-Al-Qaeda cleric, also killed his cousin, Walid bin Ali Jaber, a local policeman. My brother-in-law, my my wife's brother, my wife's brother Salim uh, Ahmed, and who was uh, an anti-Al-Qaeda uh, uh, speaker, and he was expecting to be killed. He expected that he might be targeted, and he would be targeted by Al-Qaeda. Instead, he was killed by an American drone. Faisal is now part of a Yemeni delegation that is bringing their personal stories directly to members of Congress. <laughs> Uh, I came. I came here today to to, to share with you my, uh, my 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 story and what has happened to my uh, to my family. Through a translator, this Yemeni politician talks about the psychological effects drones have on people on the ground. The entire village keeps living in constant fear, waiting just for the moment when it will uh, when it will strike. The death of innocent civilians has some U.S. lawmakers reevaluating the U.S. drone campaign over fears that the strikes are creating more enemies than allies. And one of our own diplomats who used to serve in Yemen says that every time we kill someone with one of these drone strikes, we create 50 or 60 more members of Al Qaeda. This hearing is organized by activist group Code Pink and hosted by representatives Alan Grayson, Barbara Lee, and Jan Schakowsky. I think that these drone hearings have been fascinating to those of us who took an interest in them, and I've learned a lot personally, but I think that many members still ignore the issue. Uh, we have yet to have any member of the Republican majority show up for either of these two hearings. President Obama has insisted that drone strikes are a critical tool in America's counterterrorism strategy. We are at war with an organization that right now would kill as many Americans as they could if we did not stop them first. The drone program has been shrouded in secrecy and the number of civilian deaths is unclear. So much of this is classified and so we need to really uh, have some form of public awareness. The delegation is calling for an end to drone strikes in Yemen. But until that happens, they're calling for more transparency and, at the very least, recognition that the deadly strikes happened. Here at the Capitol, Liz Wall, RT.